Hi, this is the Chrome Browser 2020 Year in Review and a 2021 sneak peek. I'm Anish Goyal. I'm a Chrome Browser Enterprise Product Manager. And if you're listening live and have any questions, please submit them below and we'll be able to answer them live throughout the session. So we're going to talk about what's new in Chrome, other Chrome features you should know about, and we'll also be looking into 2021. So let's start with what's new in Chrome, and I'll pass it on to my colleague, Karen. Hi, I'm Kiran Nair. I'm a product manager on the Chrome Browser Enterprise team, and I'm super excited to be introducing a new security solution called Beyond Corp Enterprise to you. Beyond Corp Enterprise is Google's zero trust solution that provides a simple and secure access to business critical applications and cloud services directly from Chrome. Over the next few slides, I'll walk over how Chrome and Beyond Corp Enterprise can play a pivotal role in modernizing your enterprise security posture. Security issues continue to disrupt the status quo for global enterprises. Recent cyber attacks highlight the need to rethink our security plans and operations. Attackers are getting smarter, attacks are getting more sophisticated, and assumptions about what is and what isn't locked down no longer hold. The challenge here, however, is to enable disruptive innovation in security without disrupting security operations. Beyond Corp Enterprise provides an agentless, easy to configure zero trust solution with powerful threat and data protection built in. This is the same system, people, and processes that we use to secure our own infrastructure and protect our own customers. With Beyond Corp Enterprise, we are now bringing this proven planet scale platform to customers, meeting their zero trust requirements wherever they are. Secure access starts with your browser. Beyond Corp Enterprise customers get agentless zero trust support and enterprise grade threat and data protection built into the Chrome browser. This ensures that your users only access corporate resources from secure endpoints. Beyond Corp Enterprise is built on Google's global infrastructure. Our network infrastructure lives on a private IP address space and is isolated from the internet. To bridge that gap, we have created a single point of entry called the Google front end. This ensures that all TLS connections are terminated using correct certificates and follow best practices such as supporting perfect forward secrecy. Finally, with context-aware access, you can enforce granular controls to web apps, VMs, GCP APIs, and Google Workspace apps based on a user's identity and context of the request without the need for a traditional VPN. Based on the Zero Trust security model and Google's Beyond Corp implementation, context-aware access enables you to provide a simpler access for your users, enforce granular control, and use a single platform for both your cloud and on-premise applications. Beyond Corp is Google's implementation of the zero trust model. It's built upon a decade of experience at Google combined with the ideas and best practices from the community. By shifting access control from the network perimeter to individual users, Beyond Corp Enterprise enables secure work from virtually any location without the need for a traditional VPN. Traditional zero trust based access solutions require an agent to be deployed onto the endpoint. With Beyond Corp Enterprise, agentless support for zero trust is delivered directly via Chrome. Chrome is the most secure browser in the world. Advanced technology like site isolation, sandboxing, and predictive phishing protection keep users safe from the security threats while browsing the web. Beyond Corp Enterprise customers get additional enterprise-grade threat and data protection built into Chrome. These include 
the ability to deep scan files for malware and ransomware, check URLs for phishing and social engineering in real time, and detecting and preventing intentional data exfiltration or accidental data loss. Finally, administrators get visibility into potential risks or suspicious activity through cloud-based reporting. Admins get access to individual security events that happen within Chrome, such as a user entering their corporate password into a phishing site or an employee downloading a ransomware onto a domain join device. Finally, let's look at how Beyond Corp Enterprise can help your organization. The first is by providing secure access. Due to COVID and stay at home, more workers are working remotely than ever before. So if you are a company with employees working remotely or have vendors who need secure access to corporate apps, Beyond Corp Enterprise can help provide simple and secure access to applications and cloud services without the need for a VPN or local agent. The second use case is centered around data security. Knowledge workers are generating more data than ever before. And the cost of the average data breach is astronomical. It's at around $3.9 million per breach. Beyond Corp Enterprise ensures that customer data is protected from web-based threat such as malware or phishing. Our advanced data loss prevention system can detect over 90 types of sensitive information and can help prevent sensitive data from being leaked outside the enterprise. The third use case is centered around visibility into security events. You cannot secure what you can't monitor. As an organization, Beyond Corp Enterprise allows you to monitor security incidents that happen across your organization. For example, you'll be able to identify all employees who reuse their corporate password on phishing sites. Finally, please click here to reach out to us and take the next step in your zero trust journey. Now I'll hand it off to Anuj. Thanks, Karen. Let's talk about what else is new in Chrome. The Modern Computing Alliance is a group of companies that are working together to drive the innovation for differentiated offerings. There are four major focus areas, security and identity, performance, work productivity, and healthcare. This involves engineering and design collaboration across companies. Another important feature we launched in Admin Console to centralize information is the comprehensive version report. This page shows the version of Chrome deployed in your enterprise on Chrome OS, Windows, Mac, and Linux devices. Chrome on iOS and Chrome on Android version information will be added later in 2021. Chrome Web Store will start accepting manifest v3 extensions, bringing stricter privacy rules and more control over your data. We currently do not have a timeline for when support for manifest v2 will be going away but we encourage all of our developers to migrate earlier to manifest v3 than later. Now let's walk through some other Chrome features that you should know about. Chrome Browser Cloud Management enables admins to easily manage Chrome deployments of any size from within the cloud. Administrators can enroll desktops into organizational units and manage all Chrome browsers on these enrolled devices via the admin Google Admin Console. They can also apply policies to organizational units and deploy those policies to the enrolled browsers. Admins will also be able to gain insights into their deployment, as well as delegate administrative responsibilities to other people in their organization. For example, you could have a delegated admin for marketing and another delegated admin for the finance division. Note, administrators need to have a Google account to manage the deployment in Google Admin Console, but there's no need for users to have a Google account. The browser enrollment is not based on email or username. It is based on a token which administrators can retrieve from the Google Admin Console. Legacy browser support is a feature that allows administrators to run Chrome for most of their workload and automatically fall back to a legacy browser when your users need to access a site that only works in a legacy browser. 
Those users are seamlessly switched back to Chrome when they try to access a modern website from the legacy browser. While this feature is available today, it is now going to be much easier to deploy this feature in your enterprise since it will be built into Chrome and will no longer require an additional extension. Update controls allow admins to more granularly control the policies that are needed to update both Chrome browser as well as Chrome OS. Some of the policies include relaunch notification and also the ability to roll back browsers to an older version if needed. Many of our customers have hundreds of thousands of machines and admins have requested an API for takeout and light OU management. They can retrieve all browser data to satisfy GDPR requirements and they can delete and move browsers between OUs. The enrollment API allows customers that have hundreds of OUs to better script the deployment of the CBCM enrollment tokens across their fleet of machines. They can create, revoke, and list all their tokens. Now we'll take a look at some upcoming Chrome Enterprise capabilities. I'll walk through each of these items in more detail in the next slides. First, we have the apps and usage report. This allows admins to view extensions, PWAs, Chrome apps, Arc++ apps across their fleet. Admins can easily see the app version and permissions, and it is great for compliance. Extension workflow is a feature that will allow end users to send their admins a request for an extension to be installed. Then from the admin console, the admin will be able to more easily manage the extensions for which they will either allow or block. Later in the year, we will be adding alerts for when an extension's permission or ownership changes. Remote commands is a feature that will allow admins to choose the profile and then send a remote command down to the browser from within the admin console. We are initially starting off with a small set of remote commands that will clear browser data, and we will add more commands in the future. We have built this functionality because IT admins have said that clearing cookies and cache is one of the most common tasks that they have to help their end users with. Currently, managing Chrome on Windows, Mac, and Linux has been available for over a year, and we are now bringing this capability to Chrome on iOS. Admins will be able to configure policies for Chrome OS from within Google Admin Console, Jamf, and VMware Workspace ONE. We have a trusted tester available today, and if you are under NDA, please contact us to get started. In addition, we are bringing centralized management capabilities to Chrome on Android. We expect the trusted tester for this feature to be available later in Q2. I previously mentioned the two APIs that we've launched, and we are also working on two more. First is the policy API, which will allow admins to configure enterprise policies. And second is a reporting API, which will allow admins to export the version report and apps and usage report information. Our customers have also asked for legacy browser support for IE mode on Edge. This feature will switch users between IE mode on Edge for legacy websites and Chrome for modern websites. Contact us if you are interested in becoming a trusted tester later in the quarter. And finally, here are some resources for you. Definitely subscribe to our release notes, and we also have a lot of useful information in our policy list page, the Chrome Enterprise download page, Help Center articles, and our support offerings, including browser specialist team. Thanks for joining. Please take a moment to fill out the feedback form to the right of this broadcast. You can check out more browser sessions through the link below if you'd like to learn more. Have a great day.